Hi all, welcome back. Invoicing is an inevitable part of the sales. As you all know, it's inside this invoice we get the complete details of the products which you are selling. You get the quantity of the product, you get the amount to be paid and all. So, Odo mainly provides two types of invoicing policy, which is for ordered quantity as well as delivered quantity. Now, if you take the case of ordered quantity, even before validating the delivery, you can create an invoice for the product. And if you are talking about the delivered quantity, only after validating the delivery, that is only after the product has been delivered, you can create the invoice. Let's move forward to the module and see how to do it in detail. Okay guys, so let's get into the sales module and see what are the invoicing policy and how to apply it. So I'm opening the sales module here. Okay, so once you open the sales module, you can see the quotations. So first thing I'm going to do is create two products. Okay, so for one product, I'm going to put the invoicing policy as ordered quantity and the other product, I'm going to put it as delivered quantity. So let's move forward and here is the products menu. Clicking on products here and let's create new products. So here I'm creating a new product. So click on create. Okay, so here I'll give the name of the product as bag. Sorry, bag. Okay, I'll start it for easy accessing. And here I'm putting the invoicing policy as ordered quantities itself. Okay, now let's uh, save it. Now before that, okay, I'm saving it. And I'll create one more product. So we've created bag as ordered quantity and I'll put pen as delivered quantity. Okay, so enabling this one also. So we'll see three cases. First case is uh, inside a quotation when we add a product with the invoicing policy as uh, ordered quantity and the second case will be uh, putting a product with the invoicing policy delivered quantity and the third case will be putting two products which is uh, like one is having invoicing policy as ordered and the other one is having delivered. So let's see all these three cases. So first of all we've created two products one is uh, having the invoicing policy ordered quantity and the other one is delivered. So let's go back to orders here and create a quotation. So clicking on create here and here I'm specifying the name of a customer. So I'm giving deck edict and here let's add the product bag. So here you can see bag. So uh, if you want, you can go and check it again. So the invoicing policy of bag was given as what ordered quantity. Okay. So the product and all is given here. Now let's confirm this to a sale order. So clicking on confirm here, okay. So yeah, we have to specify routes for the product. So I'm clicking on bag, going to the internal link of the product here. And here under the inventory, you can see the routes, okay. So I'll uh, give the route as MTO, okay. And uh, for purchase, you'll have to add a vendor. Okay, and I'm adding a price as 50. Okay, that's it and I'm saving it. Let's go back and see whether it works. Okay, now let's confirm it to a sale order. Okay, now it's okay, it has been confirmed to a sale order. Now here you can see the smart tab has come which is uh, purchase and delivery. So purchase has come because I've given the route as MTO. Okay, for the time being just ignore it. Here we have delivery. Now if you just take a look at the top bar here you can see create invoice which is an active button. So before even uh, validating the delivery you can see the invoice uh, creation is possible there. So it's because the product's invoicing policy is an ordered quantity. That is for the amount which we ordered, that is for the quantity which we ordered, you can create an invoice easily. So from here, I'm clicking on create invoice. And here you can click on create and view invoice. Okay, so this is the invoice. I'm confirming it and completing the procedure. So here you have the register payment, create payment. Okay, so it's currently in payment. Now if you go back, you can see we didn't uh, validate the delivery yet. Okay, so invoice is created for the ordered quantity. Now if you just go to delivery and click on that smart tab. Here you can see the done, like the delivery it is uh, not yet validated. So the done quantity is still zero. Okay, so that's how um, invoicing policy ordered quantity works. Now let's go to the second case, which is order, uh, like invoicing policy in uh, delivered quantity. So for that, I'm going to quotations again and creating a new one. 
Let's create a new quotation and here I'm choosing the customer Dequedict. And here we'll add the product for which we have given the uh, invoicing policy as delivered quantity, which is pen. So here is the product. Okay, now I'm giving the quantity here as five. Okay, so let's go to the internal link and set the what routes and all. So here under inventory, you can see buy and I'm putting manufacture. Okay, saving it. Let's go back. Okay, now here uh, I'm going to confirm it to a sale order. So till this process, I mean till this area, the steps are same. So here we have an error message which says no rule has been found to replenish pen. So we have to verify the uh, routes given inside the product. So let's add one inventory. I am just disabling buy. Okay, let's save it and see. Going back and again, I'm confirming it to a sale order. Okay, so let's configure the route going to the internal link. Inventory. Replenish by. Then let's add a vendor. Okay, so here I've added a vendor and also an amount. That is the price. So saving it and let's try going back again. Okay, confirming it. Okay, now it's confirmed to a sale order. Now here also you can see a purchase tab as well as the delivery tab. Okay, now here if you take a look at the create invoice button, it's not yet active. Why is it so? Only after validating the delivery, you can create an invoice where the uh, invoicing policy of the product is in delivered quantity. So in such cases, only after the product has been delivered, invoice is generated. So here, what you have to do is go to the delivery tab. Okay. And here you can see validate and all. So if you want, you can manually apply the done quantities. I'm putting five itself, validating it. If you want, you can like add more quantity or less quantity than the ordered quantity. Okay. So it's done. Let's go back. Now you can see the button has become active. So from here, you can create invoice and complete the procedure. So create a new invoice. Okay, then we have the confirm button here to confirm the invoice. And also you have register payment. So I'm registering the payment here. Create payment. Okay, so that is done. Next thing which we have we have completed two cases. Again, we have one more case. So suppose you're creating a quotation and you are adding two products. So one product is having the invoicing policy as ordered quantity and the second product has the invoicing policy as delivered quantity. So what happens? How will the invoice be generated and all? Let's see that case. So going to quotations and creating a new one. So here's the customer. I'm adding Deco. And here I'm adding both our products which are bag and pen. So I've added pen here. Next I'm adding bag. So here is bag. I've added both products. Now here I'm giving the quantity as 10 and here I'm giving the quantity as 15. Okay. So whatever. Now if you just take a look, you can see the confirm button. I'm confirming it to a sale order. Now after it becoming a sale order, you can see create invoice. Okay, but if you just take a look at the order lines here, you can see only the bags quantity is in blue color. The other one is normal, right? So we know bag is the one having the invoicing policy as ordered quantity. So currently this uh, create invoice, is, uh, invoice button is active for this product for which we have given the invoicing policy as ordered quantity. The other one, we can only invoice it after validating the delivery. So let's see. Now here you can see 15, I'm going to click on create invoice, create and view invoice. Okay, so after creating the invoice here, you have the uh, draft invoice where you can see the quantity as 15. So it has taken only the product with the invoicing policy ordered quantity. So I'm confirming it. Okay, so it's posted and I'm registering the payment now. So now we're doing the pay, I mean, we are doing the payment for the product with ordered quantities. Okay, so that's done. If you go back to the sale order, here you can see um, delivery. So I'm clicking on delivery there. 
and inside the delivery you can see pen and bag both products are not yet delivered but in case of pen only if you deliver you can create what invoice so if you just go back here you can see the create invoice button is not yet active okay so be careful going back to delivery and i'm validating it okay so here i'll put it as 10 itself and here i'm putting it as 15 sorry 15 okay now let's try to validate it okay now it's validated so there here is the uh, delivery things and all let's go back to the sale order and see okay so now you here you can see that create invoice button has become active so as we have validated the delivery the invoice creation button has become active again okay it has become active after validating the delivery because the product which remains now is pen and the invoicing policy of the product pen is in delivered quantities right so here if you take a look at the order lines you can see the quantity of the pen is in blue color so currently we are invoicing for that particular product okay so click on create invoice create and view invoice okay so here you can see the two invoices so one is paid one is posted the other one is in draft state so that's the pens one okay so i'm confirming it so here you can see the invoice which has order lines uh, the product pen in the order line and the quantity 10 is given registering the payment okay create payment okay so here you can see in payment ribbon has come okay so now let's go back to the invoices here you can see two invoices one is for the product which we given the invoicing policy of ordered quantity and the other one is for the product which we are given the policy as delivered quantity okay and here is the sale order so everything is done so here you can see two invoices one delivery and all so in such cases uh, i mean uh, in cases where you add two products which are having different invoicing policy you have to create invoices twice that is one for the ordered quantity and second one for the delivered quantity after validating the delivery so that's all about the invoicing policies that's all we have for you thank you so much for watching see you in the next video